Good day, everyone, and welcome to GSI's NetSuite tutorial on general navigation. My name is Jennifer, and I'm going to walk you through the general navigation features in NetSuite. We'll start from pretty much top to bottom and go over the general functionality so that we're all comfortable with how to navigate in our system. Up in our top left corner, we'll notice that we have a logo here. We are in a demo environment, but your logo would be placed here in the top left corner. As we navigate to our search bar, this is the global search within NetSuite. So anything that we can begin typing in, we'll find related records if we type in Ashley, our employee, contact, a customer that is related, so if the contact is Ashley, so on and so forth. We can easily then navigate to edit the record from here. As we scroll over more, we have our, this is a shortcut menu to create new records. So if there's new records that you create frequently, you can put a shortcut here to those. Again, these are new records. So when you hover over the drop down here, if you go to your personalize, you'll see that here we can personalize it to add in any records that we again might create new records for frequently. Just a quick way to avoid having to go through the menu bar. In our help functionality here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Our NetSuite Help Center pops up. From here, we also have the availability to go to Suite Answers, Training, Suite Apps, User Guides, and any new release functionality. We can type in the search bar up here to get to any of our topics. And in Suite Answers, I just do wanna know that any, tickets opened with Oracle, they will have the ability to, or they do go in and log these tickets in here, as well as any resolutions found. So this is a great resource if you're having some kind of issue that you wanted to look into further before opening any tickets. Again, this also has training videos associated. So when you type your subject into the search bar, not only will you get any frequently asked questions or any issues that have come up in the past and how to resolve them, but you'll also have access to any training videos related to them. Definitely, definitely take advantage of Sweet Answers. Okay, so back into our environment, we do have our user login menu over here. If you have multiple roles, you can either click on view all roles or you can hover over any of the roles and click on them from here. Down into our menu bar, over to our left, we have our recent records. If you have closed out of something quickly or need to go back in and wanted to pick up where you left off, you can definitely get there from your recent records. Here's our favorite menu. The favorites is different from the one at the top. Again, the one at the top is a quick link to create new records, where this is just our favorites menu to link to any records throughout the system searches, reports, uh, anything that we do on a daily basis, we can add in from here and then get to it. Of course, our home button will take us to our home dashboard and the ability to set our preferences. And then here, our menus are based on centers within NetSuite, which are based on our roles. So when we create roles, our center and our menu bars will look different depending on the role we're in. So you can see right now I am logged in as a CFO. So this is the center revolved around the CFO and what they need to see on a daily basis. Of course, anything that you then alter with security would or would not show up here or what you would not have access to if it did show up. Okay, so coming back down into our dashboard here, over to our right, we have the ability to adjust our layout. So this is gonna let us have more uh, dashboards allowed on the screen if we were to click on the three pane here. What we are currently looking at is the top one. So it has a smaller section off to the left and then a larger section in the middle and the right. We could adjust that again by having a larger section on the left if we go down one. And if we scroll down to this three portion here, we would be allowed to have more dashlets on our screen. Uh, it is important to note that the, the larger portion here would then look a little bit more narrow. 
Or of course, we could just have the large dashlets available. If we go into personalize, from here, we can add standard content to our dashboard, calendars, lists, KPI meters, quick ads, and custom searches and portlets. And our report snapshots, we can add report snapshots, multiples of these throughout. We can also add trend graphs. Any suite apps that are installed are also available here to add to our dashboard. And anything that you do want to see that's currently used, you can just come up here and see it from here. You can also do a quick delete from here if you'd like. So now that we've done that, let's go through our dashboard. We're in our home dashboard right now. And for the CFO, we've set up reminders. If we go into the setup menu here, we can easily add new reminders that we might want that are found throughout the system that are pertinent to the CFO. We also have a revenue by period trend here. This is a graph representation. Within here, we can quickly switch to quarterly or yearly instead of by period. We can also switch the view of our graph. Again, we have our ability to go into our setup here and change this according to what we might want to see. Of course, all of your dashlets have the refresh capability. So if you do something quickly and want to refresh on your own, you can do that by just clicking on the refresh button. As we scroll down, we'll notice our KPIs over to the left. Again, these are set up just like our reminders. And in order to change them, we would simply navigate to setup. Our navigation portlets give us quick links to things that our CFO would do daily. Financial statements, banking and budgeting, fixed assets, so on and so forth. Our KPI meters are again easily tailored to what we want to see. So when we click on our drop down here, we can change those based on what we want to look at at the moment. And again, our setup functionality is found in the same place. Something else to note, if at any point in time you want to download one of these graphical images, you can do so just by going to that setup menu, which also has your ability to print the chart or download to any of these formats. You can see the rest of our dashlet set up for a CFO here. And again, remember, based on the top, we can customize these dashlets uh, any way we want for the roles we want. We can also then publish the dashboards so that they can be viewed by multiple people or within a role. Down in our settings at the bottom is where we would personalize our very own dashboard. That takes us back up to the quick link here. You can also go to set preferences. And this is on a per user basis. Setting your preferences allows you to do things like adjust your color, your language, your date formats, et cetera, et cetera. You also have in your appearances where you would change your color themes, transactions, analytics. So you can really customize this to exactly what you want it to be. And again, down at the bottom here, we do have the ability to change our password, our email, and update our security questions. One last thing I'd like to touch on is within each of these tabs here, we can go into it, click on it just at the top, and we do have a specific dashboard here for each of these subtopics, if you will. So within our menu, we can design our own dashboard that's just related to billing. We can do the same thing for our customers, vendors, payroll and HR, financials, reports, across all of our menus. And this gives us the ability to quickly glance at anything within these subtopics. So we not only have our home dashboard, but we also have the ability to narrow things down and look at just how each of these branches within our business are doing. So that about sums up our general navigation. Please look out for our upcoming tutorials 
and any feedback is appreciated.